Peace YouTube, this is Fleur Broom coming to you today to discuss a, another exciting topic of discussion. I made videos yesterday, as you, as you most may have seen already, uh, regarding the death of another holistic practitioner, Dr. Sebi, um, whom I personally had an affinity and relationship with, and also with um, the um, terraforming of the human body. <laughs> and colonizing the mind. I made that video yet yeah, those videos yesterday. Um, and what was interesting is I love when you guys get it in because your communication with me and others is absolutely out of this world, literally. And it's so helpful. But what was interesting about right after I made the video, I went out, I went throughout my day and I was getting these weird kind of color flashes. And then a transmission came through and this is weird because <laughs> you know how I I have such interesting thoughts about channelers because you know obviously I I take issue with some channelers who are saying that they are in contact with certain beings though they never truly or they may just think I, I don't want to criticize them anyway because I was having a moment yesterday so as soon as I was planning my show for Thursday you know Aquarius rising ninth gate uh, I had was having flashes of beautiful light, but it was colors that I, I they were so vibrant. It's nothing I could have ever imagined or seen. It was weird. So I'm like, oh wow. You know, once you're in this world, you kind of think maybe something is coming through or someone or something is trying to communicate with you. But I had errands to run. You know, I have little people, so I have to get things done. So I'm going out throughout the day, and then all of a sudden, I sit down for a moment and I get. Arcturians. I'm thinking to myself, what's that about? I'm not, you know, I'm not necessarily in contact of the Arcturians. And then all of a sudden, I get these bright magenta, blue. And when I say these colors, they're nothing like what the colors, what we can think of. These bright colors. It was mostly a bright blue that was so magnificent it's not even a blue it's it's almost like a fluorescent color a bright what well, looks like pink but the hottest color pink possibly like a fluorescent pink like bright flashes of light and then the Arcturians Arct 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 made contact with me and I thought to myself wow this is interesting and I have to big up to the subscriber Trish Maxwell I hope you're watching this I have a feeling that you're one of their contactees because when I read your comment is when I was like, oh yes, we were talking about modalities that don't work anymore from, um, from sage to cedar to a lot of the herbs that we used to go to or cleansers that we used to do to clear our spaces of dark energies or frequencies that are low or getting rid of demonic forces. I was saying that a lot of those old herbal modalities don't work anymore. Why I said that is because those were modalities that worked well when we were in 3D amongst more of the earthly realm. But now that we've entered deep into 4D, almost like we've entered enemy, the enemy field, the enemy ground, we're working on the same tier of those who have been over us now. So now we're in the same playing field, but they work in frequency. All the things that are coming at us are working, uh, that are challenging our system, our bodies, or everything have to do with um, technological low L frequencies. So they're working with technology and frequencies. And now in this 4D, we have to evolve and start to heal and regenerate and to block things based on the new rules of the new uh uh, world that we're in. We're in 4D. So we have to, all the modalities of the herb and the earth and things like that, that's not going to work anymore. We have to work with light frequencies and sound frequencies. Um, a lot of people know about the, um, the toning, uh, uh, a lot of you are doing work with the toning sounds, um, the, uh, the megahertz working with healing your body based on the vibrational, um, raising your megahertz 425, 428, um, by 28 megahertz and up and above based on um, healing certain aspects of yourself. Uh, those are wonderful vibrational healing toning sounds and also light frequencies. Now, remember, I'm a contactee. I've had contact with the Zetas 
which are a form of insectiline. I've had contact with the, um, the, um, well, the insectilines, that's the zetas. I also think the mantis too. I think it, I've had contact with them as well, but more so studied than anything else. I've had contact with the Anunnaki, which many of you know about, and both factions, the disagreeables and agreeables. And I've had contact with the Andromedans. Now, um, many people have contact with different um, entities based on their DNA and what resonates with the beings that have seeded them or they've had generational contact throughout their um, their major, usually matriarchal line. But I'm learning that it doesn't even limit itself to that. It could be along the patriarch line in the family. The, uh, the um, usually runs along the X, but I found that, you know, I used to hold that um, as true, but I found out that some people are getting contact based on the patriarchal line in the family, the male line in the family. So I think it's just, it just depends. Um, but the Arcturians, even though I've studied them and, and learned a little bit about them, I, it's not my thing. I've never really gone into them, but I've also known other contactees of the Arcturians. They're very different, but these beings work with light and sound frequency. And it's so interesting because as soon as um, this young lady brought it up and I thought, oh yes, I know about that. We're going to have to talk about that on Thursday's show. Bam. They send in telepathic light frequencies. That's how I recognize them. The name popped into my head. That's another thing that work with you to, uh, they, they send telepathic messages through you and you pick them up. It's almost like a thought of pop in your head and you're like, that's not my thought. And I wouldn't even think about something like that. Not when I'm out doing errands, <laughs> you know, I think about a whole lot of things. Don't get me wrong, but the Arcturians are not beings that you'll hear me ever really speak about because it's no one I've had contact with. And many of their contactees and me are not, you know, we're not running on similar frequencies, but now we are. And, um, again, um, this young lady, Trish Maxwell, I have a feeling she's one of their contactees and I'm sending out a, um, a, uh, call out for all the Arcturian contactees. I have a feeling that we will now be, um, alongst, um, working along the same vibrational frequency lines and we will have more contact with, with each other based on the fact that some Arcturians have made it a point to, um, contact me and first contact usually comes in at signs and signals and things like that and I'm assuming um, these beings are light beings so I'm not sure that I would get such a physical um, contact with them visuals but the light was I've never seen colors like that in my life I don't think I could even I didn't even think I could dream in those colors that's how I know it was something being sent to me from um, them and then when I start to look into the Arcturians, that's what they work with. They work with light and sound frequencies, and that's what that's how they heal. They're actually healers in the frequency of light and sound. Uh, and this is what we're going to utilize now for some of our modalities and healing and combating these negative energies, these lower vibrational energies. Listen, we have to step up our game and start working with the newer frequencies that are that we have at hand and start learning new ways to protect our energy field, um, deflect and push that sucker back at them. So uh, we got the Arcturians coming in. So this will be interesting because once I first get contact with a lot of these newer beings, um, this is sometimes how it, usually I get the physical um, the audio comes sometimes with the physical when I encounter certain beings, but this is different. This is something I've never encountered. Like I said, they sent the name popped in and then they sent these light, these beautiful blue. I, I even tried to find, it's almost like they invoke your thoughts. And sometimes people wear colors based on sometimes their contact, the, the entities or the beings that around them that they're in contact with. And I didn't have one shirt or outfit to even reflect this color. It was such a magnificent blue with something. It was almost like a, it's like sky. It's a sky blue, but it is a deeper sky blue, like closer to the evening kind of night blue, but it is iridescent. It's so bright and vibrant. Same with this pink. I've never, I've never seen colors like this. So bright and, and light frequency. Um, and violet. Violet is another color I saw at the end of seeing these bright colors. And also last night, 
um, when I was in dream state, when I go up into the ether, a lot of you contact me in the ether. <laughs> it's interesting because you, you remember and how I know it's true is because you always say, I, how I am in life is how I am in the ether. So not much changes about me. And I usually look very much the same, except I'm usually, um, garbed in gold or something shimmery. And, and I know people who, who, who I meet in the ether because they say things that I say in regular life that they that I don't say in videos but they just know it's my personality so I know they've met me in the ether um sometimes I have recollection of it and sometimes not but it's interesting because um as I went into the ether last night I noticed that I was somewhere else with other beings and I remember feeling my body vibrating when I woke up and I overslept, which is also when people have contact with other beings, um, which is interesting, is once we're pulled into another dimension or we're taking on a craft, usually we're high, our bodies, our molecular structure is altered, usually through the uh, disinfection, um, depending on what beings. Some people are taken on a ship um, with their actual physical bodies and when they are they go through a disinfection certain ships have the violet flames and they it goes it's almost like a a bright bright violet color that that scans you and it clears you from any um parasitic or any um sometimes we have uh energetic uh locators on us uh what are they called chips microchips that we've been chipped whether we know it or not so they clear them and they defrag them uh, others have regular, just regular chips that are governmental chips. And those are usually people who are part of the Montauk programs, you know, project paperclip people who are part of the, uh, uh, super soldiers. They, they have their own, uh, chipping that's done via the government that they try to hide, but the ETs are usually good at being able to, uh, locate them and defrag them. But I had some level of contact last night and again how I know is because I've had contact so much I know the symptoms of having contact and I woke up late and I noticed my body was vibrating it had a, a kinetic um, a, a kinetic feeling to it like a like everything was vibrating almost like I had been electrocuted like it doesn't hurt but it feels like every every part of your body if you ever had your arm or hand fall asleep you know when it's coming back it has that like that tinging that tingy tingly kind of feeling that's how the, my whole body felt and I fell asleep and I and the alarm didn't wake me up or my little people which was odd so usually that's an indication that I had been in contact or had been taken and I had very little um, memory of it I just remember being somewhere different amongst different entities in the ether and that's all I know uh, but let's, uh, this will be an interesting conversation for the next, uh, you know, I'm not quite sure, um, how deep this new connection will be with the Arcturians, but now I can honestly say I've been in contact with the Arcturians and I look forward to, uh, interacting with these higher beings as long as it's for the benefit of us as earthlings and myself. Um, and, um, I'm calling out for all the Arcturian contactees to, See if you guys, um, have you been in contact with them? What has been your um, experience? I'd like to know uh, what it is about you and your DNA that makes you connected to the specific uh, interdimensional beings. Uh, they're beautiful and vibrant. The colors I saw were nothing I could ever imagine. And I look forward to um, having further contact as long as it's positive. And you always have to set that because you want to make sure you put healthy boundaries. Uh, we are now, you know, I, I yesterday I was talking to someone and they asked, um, <laughs> people always like to ask where, who, I, what I am or where I'm from. And now my new statement is because we're going to unity consciousness. I reply, I'm an earthling. And I know it throws some, you know, people who are quite asleep, but those who are awake overstand. I'm an earthling. And that's what I am calling myself and identifying with. I am an earthling from Earth, from Mother Guy or from Mother Terra, from uh, Tiamat. And uh, that is where I was uh, born in this incarnation in this vessel and that is the um that is my nationality that is my everything i am an earthling and that's how i'm now labeling myself no longer will i use um, other tiers of identification that will further um, divide me to my other earthling family so at this point i've already claimed my sovereignty as an earthling
Anyway, Octorians. <laughs> This is wild. I'm kind of excited. You know how I go on. So I'm going to be obviously in that new awakening of Victorians. I look forward to learning some of the new modalities that will be helpful. Hopefully I'll get some information prior to the show on Thursday at nine. Um, for those in Europe that like to listen to the show, many of you call me from um, France, from England, from Holland, from Finland, from Germany, from Switzerland, from Australia. From South Africa, <laughs> where else? From the Congo, from Kenya, uh, from uh, who else? Tanzania, from who else? Uh, oh, Victoria, Canada. Big up to my uh, Canadian friends um, from Toronto. I get everyone. I'm grateful that we've all connected all over the globe as one people, one um, beings, as Earthlings. And I look forward for us all interact, interacting and interconnecting with one another. But for those who are from Europe, I know you have a five hour difference in time. So for the show, I, I wouldn't expect for you to stay up late. Some of you do. And if you have, um, unless you're on holiday or something, or you don't have to go to work the next day, um, no worries. You can always listen in on the show on your own type and time and upload it at, um, at your convenience. But if you, you know, if ever I'll try to do shows so that you also will be able to listen in and chime in and call in because I think it's important for us all to interact as earthlings. We need to touch one another and we need to speak to one another and interact. So anyway. I've got to shut this video down. I'm a little late today, but I had to <laughs> talk about my new contact with the Arcturians. I'm excited. These light healing beings, that's what they do. Um, it's so necessary for us to be in contact with them. So the fact that I'm in contact with them, and it's probably because I was speaking and connected to some of their contactees. And we all, once we connect to one another, almost like the beings that are in contact with those beings, uh, those people, interact with the ones that they're in connecting to. So we start raising our vibration and matching and we start coming in contact with other beings. And it's the same if we go really high, we get in contact together with other light beings, higher light beings. But those, remember, and the same point that we can interact with people on our frequency or higher, once you do so with people lower, remember you come in contact with those lower dense entity beings. So let's try to all kind of interact with those who are resonating on our own frequency and higher so that we can start to um draw in some of the the, the um benefits and the, the information that's necessary to bring us to another higher level of consciousness all right so Victorians in the house um <laughs> this is going to be fun we'll discuss more modalities the um new frequency uh the new healthy modalities that we'll be using utilizing in our new 4D world, uh, light and sound frequencies. I expect for all those who are in the know, please call in and we'll have this wonderful, healthy conversation about that and how we can clear, and, um, clear some of the energies of the old dense world that we've moved out of. Okay, so peace, uh, peace love, and uh, evolution. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Bye, Bruno.